I want to read you something from the divorce document. This was mm -hmm. filed again by the estranged wife. Uh, and this is, this to me was, again, I don't know if this is the wife, you know, uh, in hyperbole or if this is for real, so we don't know. <laughs> Stephen's therapist subsequently disclosed to me that Stephen has a narcissistic personality disorder with sociopathic tendencies. Now, if that's actually what the therapist told the wife, that is serious business. And you would it think, is. but when you would think this guy would have evidence of that sort of behavior That's for right. years, and there's All just no over evidence his of that. Life. Right. That's, right. That's a major thing, okay? And I think it coming not from a clinician, but from hearsay from a supposed clinician to a wife in divorce papers shows us that fine line between love and hate. And the stuff that goes into divorce papers, you have to take sort of with a grain of salt because there's so much em emotional ammunition behind that. And Jenny, you get what I'm getting at here? I mean, they, they, you know, if indeed, let's say she, I'm going to read you something else she says. It, it, it's, it, she says, I know that he's used a 12-step model for sex addiction and that he was also seeing a sexual dysfunction therapist. However, he has refused to seek proper help or hospitalization for his predilection towards children. So between that and these alleged diagnoses, that is a loaded statement. And it's you would expect to see a lifetime of trouble. Exactly. That's what I was just going to say. We haven't heard anything about his history in terms of mental illness. Um, but that being said, a lot of times these pedophiles have this very charming personality. They're manipulative. They're good listeners. And, and they seek out control. And this is how they get their victims. We didn't know him that way. You know, we want to know him in the way that we've seen him on 7th Heaven and television. And I think that that's part of why people are so shocked right now. Jennifer? I think, unfortunately, what we are seeing now, because it's now broken the way that it has, Dr. Drew, that everything is going to be working towards her favor in this divorce. Whether or not it's true, he has now been lynched in the media, and so subsequently, well, anything that she's going to be able to accuse him of, we're already making judgment. It is horrific what is being I, I, said. I, I'm hoping, Absolutely horrific. I, I'm hoping we're tampering some of that. I mean, if, if indeed this is accurate, particularly the stuff that she's alleging the therapist has allegedly terror, the alleged therapist allegedly right. told Right. Uh, and particularly if any of that is even close to accurate, well, then this is a well-deserved... I mean, Dr. Uh, Drew, what's that, Wendy? who even knows if this was taped actually in a therapy session? Who even knows yeah. if she wasn't just collecting a tape and uh, asking him to read a script uh, one time for a role? We don't know the real context that's right. of we how don't know, this tape We don't know anything about anything well, here, and, and, it, and it certainly is, is, is not corroborated by people that knew him or worked with him regularly. And boy, you would, uh, people can hide some funny stuff. And by the way, this may have been years and years ago. Maybe there was a substance problem then or something else that's not being discussed. Or maybe he had a medical... Who knows what was going on? Mm -hmm. But there's more to this story. That's all I'm saying. And